Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla. And I'm Holden. And we are the, the Dean, Dean team. team. And we are here at one of our favorite places, Brook Green Gardens, for one of our favorite events, Summer Lights Art by Night. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go. go! If you come to Myrtle Beach during the summer months, this is an event that we really feel like you should add to your list if you're here on a Wednesday or a Saturday. Brook Green Gardens is such an amazing place to explore any time of year, but the summer lights just hit different. They are so magical. It's a great date night or to bring the family to. There's live music. You kind of just go at your own pace and it's just a really nice evening. Here's our program and map. This event started on June 5th and it runs through August 24th, Wednesday and Saturday nights from 6 to 10 p.m. Live music is performed each evening with sets beginning at 6.15, 7.15, and 8.15. This also gives you some information about Brook Green membership. We do have this membership. We love it and we were able to get a discount to this event by having a membership. Here's the map key. All of the numbers denote where there is a different installation. One important thing to note is there's a restroom right up front where you park. There's one by the harbor restaurant and there's one right up near the children's garden. This gives you an overview of everything that we're going to experience today. I see some returning favorites like the Moroccan Knights and there are some new things to explore as well. So we are going to check out all 12. Spring and summer showers stroll beneath the portico where over a hundred colorful umbrellas float under the skylights, forming a ceiling of shades and color. The kaleidoscope of light and shadows created by our umbrella canopy invites you to look up and admire its whimsy. Tiny water droplets make up clouds. These droplets fall from the sky as raindrops when they get too heavy. One of the first things we see is Watch Us Grow, Future Conservatory. This is exciting. We are here looking this way. This is Very cool. Be amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's, yeah, and that whole area too. That's like that pond where it said the uh, caution, don't go beyond here, venomous snakes. They'll be all cleared out by yeah. the time this is opened. This is so exciting for people like us who have annual passes, we come all the time, and knowing that there's going to be something new to look forward to is just awesome. We're here with Grandma and Pa, and I know one of the things you appreciate the most are the flowers at Brook Green Gardens. Absolutely, their uh, horticulture department is top notch here. The variety and, and they, they do label everything. So it's great if you say, I wanna put that in my yard. You know what to go get. Tonight when you see your favorite things, you gotta tell me which ones you like the most. I will do that. I you definitely, you know, the, the Live Oak Alley yeah. is always like a favorite, but who, who has a yard big enough for those? <laughs> This is just part of Mystic Immersion, but you can't go this way because of the construction that's happening. We're used to walking down this path, but we'll see it from the other end over there when we head that way. Near the Harvest Restaurant, they have live music outside and there's some food trucks. There's plenty of seating. The lights are in the trees. It's a really cool vibe over here. Next up, we have Fanciful Flora. Imagine yourself in an enchanted land as you walk under the 70 beautiful floral spheres. During the Middle Ages, floral pomanders would be hung from houses' ceilings to lessen odors and ward off evil spirits, rendering blessings and good luck to all who passed under them. The Kids' Corner says, walk around your neighborhood to collect natural materials like leaves, flowers, and moss and create your artistic masterpiece. It will circle. Step into the circle and surround yourself in multicolored light made from over 1,008 bottles collected from our community of volunteers, local restaurants, and staff. Whether backlit by the sun's radiance during the day or illuminated from above at night, the rhythm and colors will mesmerize you. 16 panels connect to form an angerera that will immerse you in color and light once inside. Rainbows form when light shines through water droplets. This white light bends and reflects, causing all the beautiful different colors to appear. I can't ride the flower and fly. <laughs> it is beautiful though. Ooh, Home's I like going. this one. This one's got like paint streaks on it. See? Wow. Like oh, it's yeah. artwork in itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all different. Starting to get darker. 
If you are coming here with a stroller or a wheelchair, all of the paths are very flat and paved. If you've been here for Knights of a Thousand Candles at Christmas time, it's not as busy as that event, so you have a little bit more room to maneuver as well. You are also welcome to bring in your own water or juice or snacks for your kids as well. Just not full meals, but you can bring in snacks for the kids. Here's one of the sculpture gardens. Which area do you think we're heading towards? I know we're heading Rocket towards lights. the kids. One of our favorites, Moroccan Nights, paying homage to the Moorish influences of this garden. Over a hundred Moroccan North African styled lanterns fill this beautiful area. Completing the Moorish effect are tiki torches, 12 palm trees, and many rose bushes, reminiscent of Morocco's Valley of the Roses, the Magoon Valley, which produces between 3,000 and 4,000 tons of wild roses annually. Located in the northwest corner of Africa, Morocco borders the North Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The Moroccan light section is huge. There are nice places to just relax listen to the bugs chirping, take it all in. That's what you're here for. We're filling up our water bottles by the restrooms. For those of you not from the South, this is what humidity looks like. Even if it's not sunny, I'm not it's even humid. high. Oh, please. <laughs> this is the spot to be for sunset. We're kind of here right at the end of it. It's at 8.13, so you want to be here about 15 minutes before that time. That way you can catch the sun coming down over the trees. It's just a really pretty view on the back garden wall. This is the lightning bug jamboree, and my goodness, it's loud over here. As you stroll the paths of the terrace on warm evenings, you will experience the natural beauty of fireflies, also known as lightning bugs. Generations of children have captured these glowing beetles in jars to enjoy their light. We have echoed that feeling with over 375 mason jars dancing with pinpoints of light. Fireflies remind us that life's small, simple things matter the most. They inspire us to take a moment to slow down, ground ourselves in the moment, and appreciate all that surrounds us. And the kids' corner says, fireflies are beneficial in the garden. Their larvae eat slugs and snails while adults pollinate when feeding on pollen, nectar, and other fireflies. This one is a rhythmic stroll. The gentle rhythm of soothing guitar music helps to put our minds at ease. The changing lights fill the treetops and rice fields, adding to the sense of peacefulness. Immerse your senses in the tranquility of the night. Listening hues of midnight blue mixed with the fiery yellows and whites of the gleaming stars. Don't forget to cast your wish upon the first star you see. It may just come true. We're gonna head to the old kitchen to get some light refreshments. Grandma found a winner. It's pumpkins on a stick. My Halloween loving heart is full right now. We're looking for the cookie with the most chocolate. And the biggest dough. We got a winner. It's AC in here, so if you need to come fetch some AC, this is the spot to do it. You gotta check out outside of the bar. It's amazing. I just feel like they would be so much better if they looked warm and fresh. They're pretty fresh. They're just not warmed up. But do you want it warmed on a warm night? Yeah. You do. do you? I think they're perfect. I need a cup of milk. The cookies were three-ish. Well worth it. And we also got a mule, which is $10. That's refreshing on an evening like this. Should give her a chance to film that. That's like... <laughs> That's not so. <laughs> Look at this, buddy. Oh my goodness, you're so adorable. Whoa! Oh, he's a fast one. And you're quick. Oh, not it. He a runner. He a track star. When he runs, he don't go very far. This area by the old kitchen is so pretty. It's all lit up. A horse runs wild. A garden of topiary animals captures your imagination. Our mare is a garden delight with her moss-covered body, flowing mane and flowery tail. Topiary alligators, rabbits, foxes, and frogs live harmoniously in their beautiful garden home. The Kids' Corner says, animals are important in the garden. Animals disperse seeds, control pests, and support plant growth through pollination. Get out of here, tiny horse. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at this gator. The details on this are so cool. Look at this. Beautiful. Horses used to be your favorite animal. Do you know, know that? Yeah, I used to love horses. What's your favorite animal now? It's like a tie between a wolf and a cat. I like a wolf because it seems so like free and they're beautiful. I think another reason I really like wolves is because they look like huskies. Also, you're allergic to cats. 
Yes, I love cats. Sniffle, sniffle. Is this a really like Bambi? I think Girl. little deer, yeah. It's a fluffy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Scott, what are those? They're bugs. Are those grasshoppers? A type grasshopper? of grasshopper, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're Wait, so that's big. Two? Yes, they're massive. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now we're gonna go say hi to Pegasus. Is that a lily pad? Those are the biggest lily pads in the world. It's actually lily a Venus pads. fly trap lily pad. I wish I could put into perspective how big those are, but like I can't reach them, but they are the biggest lily pads I've ever seen in my life. Like that's a normal sized one, and then there's those. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see now like him reaching how big those are. There are no lights over here by Pegasus. It's still impressive to see him lit up at night. Here's Diana right ahead of us. And over on this side is where the Fountain of the Muses was, but it is not there because of the construction. Blissful baubles. This garden of handmade glass in blues, greens, and yellows comes to life each night, emitting a warm glow of color. The over 70 light reeds fill the pool containing the sculptures Sea Urchin and Little Lady of the Sea. Over 100 glass plates and spheres fill the beds and walls. The hand-blown glass is by the talented Barb and Ed Streeter of Conway, South Carolina. Enjoy the pass with the beautiful stained glass panels by Jim Morris, a Brook Green volunteer. Calabash illumination. Intricately punched calabash gourds illuminate the night with scenes representing the garden's natural beauty. Horticulturist Gina Davis grew the 140 gourds in the children's garden passageway. After harvest, Brook Green volunteers and staff dried, designed, and drilled the tiny holes to let light through. Volunteer Monica Circus or Kirkus hand drew each intricate design. New designs this year include many sculptures from the Brook Green collection. See which ones you can identify. Gourds are hard shelled fruits that can be dried and made into various useful objects, including cups, bottles, maracas, and birdhouses. These are amazing. Oh my gosh, there's a cardinal. Look at this guy. Just the detail, a teeny gourd with a little salamander. These are all based off of Brook Green sculptures in nature. So you have to see which ones you can identify. There you go. Wait, Mom, I found that one. Ooh, I don't like that one. Did you find a favorite gourd? I screamed. Mine was the owl. Yeah, the owl is cool. A Muppet's dream. The Peace Children's Garden has become the stuff of dreams, awash with festive lights and larger than life flowers. The whimsical sculptures under the lights are playful and inviting. 38 upcycled planter baskets and festival lanterns become larger than life versions of globe and maranth, whose blooms are known for their aromatic and fanciful colors such as strawberry field, truffle pink, snow white, raspberry cream, and ping pong. You'll also find a pretty honeybee with long eyelashes in the middle of the area. Warren Klein, a Brooklyn Gardens volunteer, built this large tote Apiary. Gather household items to create your own upcycled planters. You could use plastic drink containers, empty food cans, or even old toys. Don't forget the drainage holes. We're reading a book in the children's garden. They have options over here for you so you can come grab a... They had a very hungry caterpillar and now it's not there, so I'm sad. Oh. They've had that for a while. Which one are you reading, Holden? Mormoner's first garden. I feel like I know That's that fitting. Thing. Oh yeah, the bee things are so cool. These are awesome. I love the music in here. It's so whimsical. And there's it's bubbles. So magical. And there's bubbles going on over there. Wow, so magical. You're like Elsa, but with bubbles. I am not the correct height for this. I barely fit. <laughs> Be a kid again. <laughs> We did it. Skyla, this is what it's like to be a middle schooler. You start getting to too tall now. for things. No, I can touch it now. Wow, you're growing up. No. So quickly. Water music as you stroll through Live Oak Alley, a canopy of light suspended in the over 270 year old trees surround you and Handel's Baroque composition water music carries you along a river of music. Written to be performed for King George I while floating down the River Thames, the composition is bright and life affirming. As you listen to the music, imagine dancing waves floating along a river. I feel like the frogs are keeping time. Here's a look at fanciful flora lit up at night. Very beautiful and very fanciful. Yes. The fanciful flora continues over into this Diana's pool over here. So it's all up in these trees everywhere you look. Yeah. 
Here he is. Look at a gator, buddy. So cute. It's so yummy. No idea if this is coming out or not, but we can see him. Mystic immersion. Over 1,100 bottles hang from trees and perch on stems throughout the Visionary's Garden. Glass bottles began circulating through Africa, Egypt, and Mesopotamia in 1600 BC. The belief that spirits could live in these bottles quickly followed. The hope was that by hanging the bottles in a tree, evil spirits would find their way into the wine bottles and become stuck. Recycling glass saves energy, conserves natural resources, and is good for the environment. There are helpers everywhere at these little tables who can tell you where to go. They can help you find where you want to head to. So that area is blocked off because that's where the construction starting and then over in that direction is the entrance. We got here at 730. The event ends at 10 and we're going to be leaving around 945. But even from the time that the sun set through now, we still got to check out everything. We got to see things as the sun was setting. It is kind of a finite amount of time because the sun is kind of fully set at 830 and the event ends at 10. So even if you get here at six, it's kind of brick green in the daylight. We do recommend getting here as close to sunset as you can so that you can enjoy everything with the beauty of the lights. We're checking out spring and summer showers one more time on our way out. Thank you so much for coming along with us to Summer Lights Art by Night at Brook Green Gardens. Once again, this is just an amazing, beautiful, whimsical, magical event that we highly recommend if you're in the area during the summer months. I will throw up the prices so you can see what we pay today as members as well as what the regular prices are. There were some new displays this year. Loved the animal topiaries. The gourds were incredible. I could have looked at those for hours. Every single area is just so beautiful and different. Really encourage you to just take your time, have a seat, listen to the frogs, and just enjoy the moment of being here at nighttime. It is still very humid, so prepare for hot weather. Even though the sun is down, the humidity is way up. So prepare for that, bring some bug spray with you, make sure you're all staying hydrated, bring some water with you, and plan on staying here till close to the end time if you wanna see it at night because with sunset being a little after eight you're going to stay there until around 10 if you want to catch every display so just keep that in mind we have a full tour of brook green gardens on our channel i'll put a link to that in the description as well as loads of videos covering all of the many events that there are at brook green gardens including nights of a thousand candles and other festivals that they have here there's something going on year round so check out their calendar and see what's going on if you have any questions just leave us a comment thank you so much for coming along with us and we'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring.